Welcome back to Cinecaps. Today I will show you a drama, biography film from 2010, titled The Social Network. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In fall 2003, Mark Zuckerberg and Erica Albright are having a conversation in a pub. They discuss the final clubs at Harvard University, their exclusivity and Mark's obsession with them. He looks down on Erica, saying that if he gets into a final club, she'll meet people she normally wouldn't have the opportunity to, because she goes to a less prestigious institute, Boston University. She feels insulted and breaks up with him. Mark goes home and drunkenly posts about Erica, degrading her on his blog. He hacks into the Facebook of seven different houses at Harvard, which includes images and details about students. He downloads their pictures and sets up a website called FaceMash, where people get to vote between two girls on the basis of their attractiveness. Meanwhile the Phoenix Club, a posh and ostentatious final club of Harvard has its first party of the fall semester. Eduardo Saverin, who is Mark's friend, comes over to his place and asks if he's alright because he read about his breakup on his blog. Mark's concerned with getting the algorithm from Eduardo which will make FaceMash's website work. Eduardo shares the algorithm and the website blows over, as students all over the campus start using FaceMash. Erica's roommate tells her that Mark blogged about her. She is heartbroken and insulted. The female students are deeply degraded by the website's comparison of them. Eduardo suggests shutting the website down, as it's generating too much traffic which could get them in trouble. Harvard's authorities eventually catch up and shut down the network. Currently in 2009, Eduardo and Mark are in a lawsuit. Erica's testimony is used against Mark and he is frustrated. It is revealed that FaceMash made 22,000 hits in two hours that night. Back in 2003, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss are Harvard students who find out about a sophomore who hacked into the details of students from seven different houses and created a website, crashing Harvard's network with 22,000 page requests in one night. In 2008, the Winklevoss twins are in a lawsuit with Mark. Back in 2003, an administrative board hearing is held in which Mark is accused of several offenses such as intentionally breaching security, violating copyrights, violating individual privacy by creating face mash, etc. He is also charged with violation of university policy on distribution of digitized images. This lands Mark six months of academic probation. The Winklevoss twins interact with Mark and take him to their final club, the Porcelian. Mark meets Devia Narendra, a close friend of the Winklevoss twins. The trio discusses their ideas with Mark about creating a website called Harvard Connection which will be exclusively for Harvard students to connect. They require a good programmer for its creation and they want Mark to work with them. Mark agrees to work with them. During the lawsuit meeting, Mark says he doesn't remember what he said to them when he was asked to work with the Winklevoss twins and Devia. He is asked when did he share the idea of Facebook with Eduardo, to which he says he told him at a party. At the party, Eduardo tells Mark that he has been approached by the Phoenix Club, the club Mark really wanted to get into. Mark shares the idea of building a social site that takes the experience of college online. He needs financial support and asks Eduardo to invest $1,000. The profit will be split, Mark will get 70% and Eduardo will get 30. Mark makes him the CFO. Eduardo is asked during the lawsuit if he knew about Mark's agreement with the Winklevoss twins and Devia. He knew that they asked Mark to work for them, but he gave it up because it wasn't worth his time. Mark fooled the Winklevoss twins and kept bailing out on meetings, making excuses. He tricked them into thinking that he was working on creating Harvard Connection, while he was actually working on creating the Facebook. During the lawsuit with the Winklevoss twins and Devia, they insist Mark stole their idea but Mark says he never used their code. In 2004, Mark is in class, Dustin Moskovitz asks him advice about a girl he's interested in. Mark runs back to his apartment to add the feature of relationship status to the Facebook. He says that's how people will connect and find the person they're interested in. By now, Facebook is operating as intended. Mark persuades Eduardo into giving him the email list of the Phoenix Club members. Devia is with his girlfriend when he finds out about Mark's website, the Facebook. He informs the Winklevoss twins. They call their lawyers, feeling extremely frustrated about Mark stealing their idea. At a seminar hosted by Bill Gates, Eduardo meets Christy and Alice. Later that night, Mark and Eduardo discuss monetization. Mark doesn't want to monetize the site yet, since it could damage their look. While conversing, Eduardo finds a cease and desist letter from the Winklevoss twins addressed to Mark about intellectual property theft and freaks out about it. It is revealed during the lawsuit meeting that Mark led on the Winklevoss twins and Devia for six weeks, though he doesn't admit it. Mark and Eduardo go to a club and have fun with Christy and Alice. Mark sees Erica over there and tries to talk to her. 
Their discussion gets heated as Erica slams him for shaming her on the internet. Later, Mark wants to expand to Yale and Columbia. Eduardo suggests expanding to Stanford too. Divya and the Winklevoss twins discuss how Mark will be violating federal law if he expands the network to other states. They realize he's also violating Harvard's law, as the Harvard Student Handbook says one student can't steal from another student. The twins plan to meet the president of the university. A Californian entrepreneur, Sean Parker, is in the process of checking his email when he finds out about the Facebook and is intrigued by it. The Winklevoss twins meet Harvard's president. He doesn't take their issue regarding intellectual property theft seriously and simply suggests that they find a new project to work on. He says they won't get special treatment because of their social status. Eduardo and Mark go to New York during spring break for business meetings. Eduardo takes the meetings seriously, while Mark exhibits non-seriousness. He is only excited about the last meeting, which is with Sean Parker. Eduardo is nervous about the meeting and doesn't want to work with Sean as he doesn't have enough credibility and his reputation isn't spotless. Sean comes in late. Eduardo, when asked during the lawsuit meeting, recalls that Sean told them about his ventures which included a music company called Napster that ended in bankruptcy and Rolodex, out of which he got thrown out by case equity. He backed up Mark regarding no monetization on the Facebook, clearly making Eduardo dislike him even more. Sean said that their company could have the potential to make it to a billion dollars and that he wanted Mark to come to California. Before leaving he told them to drop the and call it only Facebook. In a lawsuit meeting they discussed that in 2004, the shares were 65% for Mark, 30% for Eduardo and 5% for Dustin. Eduardo is asked if he ever did anything to jeopardize the company. He gets mad and embarrassed as he recalls the time he was asked to have a chicken with him at all times by the Phoenix Club. This ended up being used against him as animal cruelty in the Harvard Crimson. Mark didn't want this incident to affect business negatively. Mark needs more money, Eduardo agrees and says that more servers will be helpful. Mark actually means he's hiring new interns and getting a rented house in California, hence he requires money. Eduardo doesn't agree, but Mark is dead set on going to California for the summer. Eduardo gives up arguing with him. They hit 150,000 members. Eduardo finds a couple of students working on hacking while Mark is supervising them, making sure only the best are chosen as interns. He informs Mark that he opened a bank account with $18,000. A hacker finishes first and Mark welcomes him to Facebook. Eduardo says he gave the money to be a team player. The plan was that he'd generate advertiser interest in New York while Mark, Dustin, and the interns would work in California. In reality, Mark and the rest of the group party in California. Mark finds out Sean resides across the street, after their zip line breaks and he comes to check in on them. Sean finds out that Eduardo didn't come with Mark. While at a club, Sean and Mark discuss business. Sean says he'll put Facebook on two continents. After hearing that Sean doesn't have a place to stay, Mark says he can live with him and the rest of the group. The Winklevoss twins are participating in the Henley Royal Regatta. They end up losing and are extremely upset. To add to their worries, they find out Facebook is accessible in Cambridge, Oxford and London School of Economics. The twins and Divya agree to sue Mark in federal court. In California, Sean is on the phone when Eduardo shows up, drenched in the rain. Mark was supposed to pick him up at the airport an hour ago but he didn't come as he was asleep after coding for several hours. Eduardo finds out Sean arranged a meeting with Peter Thiel and is not happy about it. He and Mark talk alone and it is revealed that Eduardo quit his summer internship on the first day and Christy has been giving him a tough time. Mark suggests he should blend in and join the scene or else he'll get left behind. Out of anger, Eduardo freezes the bank account he made for Facebook. The meeting with Peter Thiel is successful as Mark and Sean get a $500,000 investment for Facebook. Eduardo is alone in his apartment as Christy shows up and fights with him. Mark calls and confronts Eduardo about freezing the bank account and jeopardizing Facebook, reminding him that it can't crash because it's not like the other websites. Meanwhile, Christy sets a fire in his apartment. Eduardo frantically puts the fire out as he tells Mark on the phone that he froze the account to get his attention. Mark tells him about the Peter Thiel investment being successful and asks him to come to San Francisco as soon as possible. Eduardo says he's coming. He meets the company's lawyers and he signs the papers. His shares have gone up to 34.4%. During the lawsuit meeting, it is revealed that Eduardo didn't realize he was signing his death certificate. He said Mark mentioned that he wouldn't be coming back for a semester and told him to come back at the end of the year for the party Peter Thiel would be throwing when they hit a million members. 
In late November, Eduardo gets an email from Mark about the millionth member party and about how they need to have a business meeting because of Mark and Sean playing a stunt and getting case equity to make them an investment offer that's hard to turn down. Eduardo visits the new offices of Facebook in California. He is left feeling absolutely shocked and mad as he finds out his shares have been diluted down to 0.03%. He feels betrayed and angrily tells Mark that he'll come back for every single thing. After Eduardo leaves, Sean and Mark celebrate as they hit a million members. Sean is partying with a couple of interns, talking about Facebook incessantly with them. They are sniffing some flour while the police show up. The situation gets messy as there is an underage intern involved. Mark comes to realize that Sean isn't trustworthy after all. Marilyn Delpy, a junior lawyer for the defense, and Mark talk. She tells him that there will eventually be a settlement agreement and he'll have to pay more because the jury won't support him considering the bitterness of past events and his attitude in general. She leaves and Mark is left alone. He sends Erica a friend request on Facebook and refreshes the page continuously. It is revealed that the Winklevoss twins received a settlement of $65 million and signed a non-disclosure agreement. Eduardo received a settlement too, and got his name restored on the Facebook masthead as a co-founder. Facebook continues to thrive, Mark is the youngest billionaire in the world. The movie ends. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.